how to create a UI. This is the first video in a getting started series. It's a step by step, but it's a longer tutorial that will teach you how to do that with the Doze UI system inside Unity. Let's get started. <music> Before we begin, I would like to stop here and say, what is an UI? What is the core thing that a UI does? Well, it's just a panel, a button that the user can click, some text, some images, and that's it. And the main thing about the UI is that it shows different panels. One disappears, the other one appears and so on just by clicking a button and that's pretty much it that is the base idea of how this ui works and actually how any ui system works it just shows views and buttons that's the, the these are the basic components of course a ui is made out of different type of types of components and items and so on but if you understand that this is basically what it is you can have a good start. Before we dive into, to this, uh, in, into this tutorial, we need to have some uh, categorization of the items that uh, make up a UI. And in order to do that, we're gonna start with the interactables, the components. These are the things that the user can interact with. Can click, can push a button and so on. So these are your buttons, your toggle slider switches, radio buttons, drop down list, input fields, and so on. So whatever thing a user can interact with, it's called a component. Unity has uh, called it a selectable. In this UI, it, it is called a UI selectable. Remember this UI selectable name because we will come back to it again and again. So. A lot of things inside uh, the UI system is based on you. Uh, a lot of comp actually all components are based on the UI selectable uh, class, and it also there are a lot of functionalities that you can add to any component just by using the UI selectable animations or sounds or so on. And the main characteristic of a component is that it has five states: normal, highlighted, pressed selected and disabled. That's it. So if you understand this, remember a UI selectable is a component. Whenever you want to interact with something, you need a component, also known as a UI selectable. Second category. These are your containers. So basically your views. We just created the buttons that you can click in. The containers are the second category. These are your views. Model windows, um, whatever right here, pop-ups, notifications, alerts, tooltips, and so on. Right now, you only have the UI container and the UI view inside the system, but we will be adding the other ones with specific systems. The main characteristic of this category is that it has show and hide, and you can think of them as boxes, virtual boxes. You can add other containers inside of them. You can add buttons and you can add any item from the last category. The last category is anything else. And this is your content. Images, text, titles, effects. Uh, let's say you have a loading text and a spinner, something that tells the user, hey, wait, something is happening. That is not interactable, nor is it a uh, container. So it's content, right? So we have these main categories. We have components, containers, and content. Remember those two things. Remember the UI selectable and the UI container, because these are the ones that will allow you to decide. So you, you will know, okay, what do I need here? Container or a component, or maybe content when we're, you are building your things. Of course, there are some other uh, minor categories like layouts vertical layout, grid layout, horizontal layout, radio layout, one that comes with this UI, and so on. Menus, again, another type of category. 
but these are your basic building blocks. Any UI, no matter the platform, the framework, or whatever you create it, has these things, components, containers, and content, All right? Remember UI selectable and UI container. So let's go inside Unity and let's look a bit. Let's create our first component and I'm gonna use a simple button. So tools, those UI menu. I'm adding it from the UI menu so it's easier. I'm gonna say simple, simple button. All right. Let's center it. And here we have a simple button. Of course, remember I told you to remember the way selectables, selectable. We have animations, a, a UI animator, a color animator. So this basically, this is a pre-made button inside this UI. In this tutorial, in another video, I'm going to show you how to create a button from scratch, how to animate everything. But here, just let's, let's enter play mode. And remember, I told you that they have Five states, normal, highlighted, pressed, uh, selected and disabled. And ju I just enter play mode and you see here normal, highlighted, pressed, selected and disabled. You can also preview the states by the way. So there you go, normal, pressed, selected. And of course, if it's interactable, if it's not interactable, it, it will become disabled right now. It doesn't work. All right. So now we have a button, we have our component. Let's add a container, right? So let's go to tools, doozy. I'm gonna add a UI view. Again, I'm using this, uh, the, I'm using the UI menu because they are pre-made, it's very fast, right? Uh, I think I added it as a child. So let's add it here and let's move the button inside the view. So again, our view here doesn't have, you, you do not see the show and hide buttons because they appear only in play mode. And remember I told you to, 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 to think of, a, of it as a UI container. Well, this is the show and hide animation. So let's enter play mode and I'm going to show you how it works. So I can hide it and show it. Let's see in the scene view, hide, show. Of course, because I have an animator here, uh, it animates. If an animator wasn't present here, so let's remove this, show and hide would work, but this would be as if you are disabling it, right? So hide and show still works, but it's really not that nice and it's not a modern approach to, to UI. So let's add it back. And then I'll say doozy UI animators container and I'd like a UI animator. Let's just uh, load the preset. So I'm gonna say uh, organic one and for hide, I'm just picking one at random ghost number six, All right? And let's see how they look. All right, so hide and show. There you go, hide, show, and you can also do that. Let's see it here from scene view. You have over uh, 1,600 uh, presets available, so you can play with them. So you just enter uh, play mode, like I'm now, let's say drift. So I'm gonna load this, so show and let's say hide let's select again you you should have a drift uh, let's say drift right all right so hide and this is how it looks again because i'm in play mode and i want to keep my settings i'm just gonna copy component and paste component values and that's it it's saved all right, so we have our UI view, our container that contains a button, but where's the content? Well, you've seen the content, it's the background. It is a visual element 
that is non-interactable and this is considered content. What else did we say that uh, we consider content? Well, text or title. Let's add one. This is just uh, our basic introductory to, to this tutorial. So title, all right? So I'm deconstructing this to be able to explain it later. If you understand the, the differences between these things, you're on your, you're, you're set, all right? So we have our background and our title, and these are our content, all right? We have our simple button, and this is a component or a UI selectable. And we have our view, and this is our container. So we have all of this, all of, all of these things in, in our uh, project. In the next video, we will be, I will teach you how to create your first view from scratch. So you start from an image you, and you add animations and card animations and so on. So this is the, the first step to understand the difference between these three. All right. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.